Well, I'm now being joined by our political correspondent, Shion Okimbaloye. He's going to tell us about this said convention. Hello, Shion. Thank you so much, Chair. <laughs> All right, so the PDP is having a non-elective convention on Saturday. Why is that? Does it mean that they won't have elections? Exactly. There won't be any election. And uh, I think it's a very uh, interesting time that the party has entered into. This is the first election since the Supreme Court gave its judgment in favor of uh, Senator uh, Hamman Makarufi as the authentic leadership of the party, that is the caretaker committee, uh, well, defeating or displacing Senator uh, Alimodou Sharif, who was uh, the outgoing uh, party chairman of the party. It was a turbulent legal process for the party. And now they need to reorganize the party. They need to put themselves together. They need to reunite the party. Don't forget that the party was sharply divided between these two men, uh, some people for the Senator Amel McCarthy group and some others for the Senator Sheriff. They still have that kind of um, division uh, somewhat. And so they're going into this con convention to restructure the party. After the 2015 election, the party went into crisis. There was chaos in the party. The blame game started. Uh, you were the one who caused it. You guys were the one who caused it. And so that was what as, uh, the party has entered into for two years now, and they've not been able to get out of this. This convention is going to be very interesting and critical for them. If they are able to put themselves together, you see that they, they have a lot of committees, yeah. the conciliating committees, this com disciplinary committee, and all of that. They need all of this. They, they don't have a party as it stands right now because the party in chaos is really no party. So the reason of the party is unison. So they will probably have this platform to be able to get themselves together, sing from the same hymn book, and see where they get themselves up from this moment. Uh, singing from the same hymn book, that sounds very interesting. But one would also ask, I mean, have they resolved their issues? They're planning a convention. Has the PDP resolved the issues in the party first? A very big one. Uh, it, the, the party is in crisis. Just yesterday and day before yesterday, the Southwest has been uh, the, mostly the, the battlefield in the uh, in political uh, uh, landscape of Nigeria from the First Republic, even from uh, before independence. We've always seen how Southwest has always had a very intense political uh, game. And so uh, the Southwest in the PDP has not gotten it right. So many states in the PDP are still having their crisis. Don't forget, they just moved from the Supreme Court judgment. And this era is going to be very critical for them. A lot of them, I, was, I, I want to see just how they will be able to handle when delegates will appear there, because you are supposed to go, dele state delegates, zone delegates, and all of that, will go for that convention. And they are also they're supposed to be a delegate list. They've been divided. So one will wait to see where the delegates list will emanate from. Uh, they've had divided houses. Uh, you see the uh, Governor Fayashi's group in the Southwest. You see the mm. Senator Buji Kachamu's group in the Southwest. Mm. They're not really united as it stands right now. This is a, proper, a proper, uh, process to unite the party. But to, uh, on Saturday, it will be very interesting to see how they are able to maturely come together and try to cause for, the, for their own party. Well, I'll say two, three, 25 members, that's a lot. But do you, what do you expect after this convention? I hope that there won't be a major crisis in the sense that, look, I've witnessed so many conventions of the PDP. Uh, from, is it from Abuja? Is it the two that they had in Porakad, which uh, uh, was, uh, was, went into crisis afterward? Uh, this one is going to be very interesting to see how this Senator McAfee's uh, first major, don't forget, the convention is the highest organ of the party, the highest moment when the party can make its decisions. So it is going to be in the convention that they will choose a new leadership of the party. This time around, they will not do that. What they will do is to come together, find a new course, uh, probably extend the tenure of uh, the, the National uh, uh, Caretaker Committee. When they do that, they will now fix a date for the national convention where they can now do an election where a new leadership of the party uh, we, this is this is a this is an uh, an intermediate mediary uh, uh, leadership that they have yeah. with Senator McCarthy is a caretaker committee not really uh, something that the party is used to but this is going to be very interesting for the party okay. and on channels we will see on the story to see how the so-called the biggest party in Africa mm -hmm. gets its act together we'll definitely week. stay on that story and we can't wait for Saturday also thank you very much Shimon Kibaloi thank you